Welcome back. It's wonderful to see everyone here at school and to be back and see your faces and everything. I'm just so thrilled to see everyone and just to have this experience again. So thank you for coming out. I'm, I'm seeing friends from the past, some former castmates in previous shows. I'm seeing some of our faculty here and it's just a joy to see everyone this evening. So I would like to get started. Uh, we are doing the best little theater in town. We've been working on this since January. Amid everything that we know is that's been an uphill battle for, for everybody the past two years. But I can say that we're over the hill and I think we're triumphantly getting to the top now. So I would like to introduce Miss Hampton. She is also the assistant director with uh, me this year. And this is the wonderful tech crew that I want you to understand that is behind the scenes that makes a show happen. It doesn't, nothing happens without this magical work of people behind the scenes. So this first gentleman right here is Alex, and Alex is the curtain puller. And so he has to keep track of when to gently open <coughs> and close at the right time. So this is Alex. Next to Alex is Elias. And Elias is helping with the dimmer switch pad, and he's also doing some other moments when we need to have key lighting. So this is Elias. In the center, this taller gentleman is Mr. Zachary. <laughs> and Zachary is the stage manager. And Zachary, I just knew had the personality to tell everybody what to do and when <laughs> to do it. And I said, he is a natural born manager. <laughs> so Zachary is in charge of making sure Things are in place, people are where they're supposed to be, and he is directing when the curtain is going to be opened, and he has to make sure everything is in place. And if everything is in place, and of course, all queuing is done right, they have earned a huge bag of gummy bears later. So, <laughs> food motivates. <laughs> Swedish yeah. fish, okay, yes, there's Swedish yeah. fish, there's gummy Sour bears, Patch Kids, the and sweat. there's gummy bears, okay? Stuart's was happy when I went there yesterday. <laughs> Next to him is Mr. Nico, and Mr. Nico is running the spotlight in the back, and he definitely has the talent for watching lighting and also with microphones. So I see this guy as being on the stage behind the scenes in the future more. The gentleman wearing the purple vest was just given a surprise this evening because unfortunately we have two castmates that fell ill this day today at school. After all of this work, they got sick. Stomach bug is going around. So he is taking the place of Miss Lila Keller. Lila has been over here as a ticket booth person. So he is going to be stepping into her role at the beginning and the end. And he's also being a stagehand. So he's going to be taking his vest off and then putting it back on. And he's doing dual roles, roles this evening. And our last gentleman is the younger brother of our stage manager. And this is Samuel. And Samuel is working with Paul over here on stage right being a stagehand. So these are all of our wonderful tech crew uh, team this year. And with a big round of applause, they're going to go to their position. <laughs> I just want to point out the exits there there at the back there's two exits here at the back for when we uh, if in case we would have something happen but it won't right it won't happen cross our fingers cross our fingers right and there will be a time there will be an intermission at the end of scene five and you can enjoy the refreshments down at the end of the hall you probably pass the table also Mrs. Chauvin made a painting that's going to be in a raffle tomorrow evening so uh, there's a price ticket there, and if you didn't do that t this evening, then you can do that tomorrow. Uh, the funds from the donations, there's a donation box and the concession stand, all of this money goes to support next year's production. And we, we fund this through that, all the things that we need to buy, such as paint, supplies, extra costumes, and things like that. The last two years, with COVID, we had expenditures with Treasure Island, and then we were shut down like three or four days before the kids did the production, which was really, really hard. So then last year, so we weren't able to do the concession stand. 
and all of that. And then last year we did the show, but we weren't able to have the public in the building last year. So we weren't able to fundraise for that. So we did two shows, but we weren't able to, to put a little more money in the kitty, right? So, so whatever you can give over the next day or so, that will definitely help so that we support next year's show and that's how we continue everything in the future, okay? So I think that's it for now, and I think we're ready to begin the best little theater in town. So enjoy. Also, one last thing. The kids are gonna go down the hall to go into the music room. If you could just wait till they all get into the music room, because this is gonna be a tight congestion here. I want them to stay over there, and at the end of the show, you can greet them out here in the hall. It'll just make the movement a little faster, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this.
in my pocket and come back to it later. So there we have it. The conflict. I sure don't like that guy, Kenny Patrick. You're not supposed to. He's a antagonist. One with a postcard. Protagonist, Mrs. G. But we need a little bit of a dilemma. No. I wonder if this is she will do. Well, she has to close the best role of the year in town. But that's why all these wonderful people are here to find out the answer to that question. Ready or not, let's go. Over here, everyone, pay your attention. What's up, Mrs. G? Oh, wait, wait, this is so hard for me to do. What is it, Mrs. G? Well, I just received word we may have Yeah. 
fast? Yes. yes. This is Emily fast. What? Really? When? Oh my gosh, you are ever so much and I just can't wait to work with you. It happened! What is it, Emily? Emily, calm down and tell us. It happened. It finally happened. I got a roll of Beauty and the Beast for five opening five and six weeks. Well, honey, I always knew you'd leave us eventually, but we're all so very proud of you following in your family's footsteps. Oh. But what a terrible time to leave. I feel just awful. Do you guys call them back? No, Emily, that's your goal here. To prepare our casting, casting crew for the big time. Go, go with our best wishes.
feedback before everyone starts to uh, act. Okay? Get your Oh, 
the ship as the theater closes. Wait a minute, don't draw the conclusion. <laughs> really, it's so exciting. Emily Best has got a role on Broadway. So are you saying you're best off the theater in the middle of the production because you got a better offer? No, no, no. Really, she auditioned a while ago. She didn't know she'd be called out, if at all. Uh-huh. Theater's namesake secretly auditions for Broadway productions, leaving cast in the lurch. You've got it all wrong. We're glad she went. Cass is happy that Emily Beth deserved the production. <laughs> <coughs> Wait a minute. We have a look. Wait a minute. Whatever. Nothing will stop the rest of us from putting on a fantastic show. What about the financial problems we've been hearing about from James P. Pennypack? Yes, we heard the whole business unfold. No, no. We're still rehearsing, in spite of this little, uh, setback. Setback, it sounds like you won't be able to pay your bills. The lights slow down, so the lights go down at the festival theater as electricity is cut off. That's an exaggeration. We have a lot of options to keep this theater going. Cass grabs his straws as the theater sinks further towards financial ruin. We're all pitching in to help out. Actually, maybe you can help us. After all, we're going to have to work together to save the best little theater in town.
not so <laughs> not so fast. It's in token of guilty. Remember what? We have time for a trial, not a distraction. An idea for a Or the climax. The point at which we'll be able to relieve all this tension and anxiety. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ready or not, let's go.
So tell me, what's left? What's left? 